Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're going to talk about a green skin white wine grape by the name of Sylvaner. Now Sylvaner is an ancient varietal that's native to Central Europe, but today we see the dominant plantings of Sylvaner in the areas of Alsace in France and also in Germany. So when we look at the grape and the challenges it poses to the winemaker, what we see, this is a very vigorous vine. And when we have vigorous vines, we want to make sure that we manage the yield. If the wine grapes are overproduced, they produce fruit that is of much lower quality. Also, this wine grape develops and ripens quite early, which in cooler weather areas is a real positive attribute. Now, when we look at Sylvaner, one of the things that's interesting about it is its biggest criticism, and that is that it is a blank canvas. When we look at aromas that come off of Sylvaner wines, they tend to be more neutral. And when we look at flavors that are embedded within Sylvaner wines, they tend to be a little neutral. So now we shift significantly into the terroir that affects the cultivation and production of the wine itself. So let's talk about terroir for just a minute. Terroir is a French word, which means all of the influences which affect the growing of the grapes. So think things like the soil type, the weather, the rain, the wind, and also the amount of sun that it gets. Now think about this grape being a cooler weather grape. When we think about different areas, now the attitude towards the sun and having vineyards that always face south on more steep slopes will produce a better quality wine. Now with Sylvaner, the epicenter for the highest quality is an area by the name of Franken in Germany. If we look at the Franken area, which is around Bavaria, they produce the best Sylvaner. Now it doesn't mean that it's bad in other areas, it's just that is the finest Sylvaner in the world. So let's think about things we would pair a beautiful Franco-Germanic wine like this with. So let's think of things like uh, salads, fish, we're going to throw in tofu there, and also grilled asparagus. So there's some unusual wine and food pairings that if you're looking for a real niche pairing, Sylvaner may be the wine. And I always say, if you're a big fan of Pinot Gris, then give Sylvaner a try and I think you'll find them to be fairly similar. So let's take a look at what we have today. So the wine I picked for you today is one from a vintner by the name of Hans Versching, and this is a Franken Sylvaner. So if we take a look at the wine, first thing that we'll notice is it's quite clear in color and just barely straw yellow. If we swirl to liberate the aromas, what leaps out of the glass is somewhere between passion fruit and some savory herbs. Let's think things like Time. Let's go ahead and take a sip and see how it presents itself. When this Hans Versching Sylvaner passes by the palate, I get beautiful flavors of peachy bordering on dried apricot. There's certainly a citral component to this wine, so think citrus fruits. And I also get some of those savory herbs coming through. Um, the thyme that we kind of smelled before, but I'm also getting uh, other herbs, almost like lavender, uh, in there as well. It's really quite complex, and kind of the knock that we gave it earlier, that it's a blank canvas. These wines that emanate from Franken are really beautiful expressions of this grape. So I'm going to get back and enjoy a little bit more Sylvaner, and I ask that you to tune in next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time. Mm -hmm.